Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and for those of you who are new here, I am a aspiring landscape photographer. Uh, I've been shooting food for about 10, 11 years and got a, an itch to, you know, get out and shoot landscapes. I'm sure part of that was, you know, born out of frustration from the lockdown, but uh, here I am and I, I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, for those of you who've been with me in the past, you may know where we are right now. Um, I did promise back in January we'd come back out here when I remembered my FTZ adapter and the 7200 lens. And uh, I, I want to come out today mainly because next week I'm selling uh, the 70 to 200. So this was kind of my last shot to get out here and use this while I still had it. Uh, I am going to be uh, going with the native glass and going with the uh, 24 200 uh, Z lens. Um, which would cover, you know, the focal range of actually two lenses for me. So I could use the 1430 and then the the 24 to 200 for kind of my longer reach stuff, which maybe down the road if I ever get a chance and ever I have a need for it, I can go some a little bit longer, like a 100 to 400, but, you know, that's a long way out for right now. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm walking the trails. Um, it is about 2.30. We're about two and a half hours still from sundown. Um, the goal for us is to get back to where we were before, uh, over on the South Rim Trail. Right now we're on the Fountain Trail. The Fountain Trail kind of heads up to the, uh, the is that north side of the park, and then that will swing back around and drop us in the middle, which will take us to the South Rim side, um, which is where we talked about that photo from before. So uh, I look forward to seeing you guys over there. We may be stopping along the way and seeing what we can find. Um, a little b-roll uh, there's no drone footage today i just didn't have a chance to get it out and charge so um, we'll see what we can come up with here the cloud cover yeah it's a little bit light right now um, we're expecting more clouds this afternoon so hopefully some that'll come in and and uh you know give us a little bit of, of interest for the shot i'd like to be able to try and do a long exposure with the long lens and see if i can get some movement in the clouds i have not done that before so that'd be kind of cool um, anyway, that's kind of where we're at today, and uh, I will see you guys shortly. So right now, I'm setting up for my first shot. Only because the sun is in this direction, I kind of like the, sh the shadow that's on the back of the, line, the sandstone. Where some of that is lit up nicely and there's some nice dark contrast in there. You can kind of follow it all the way down um, to get that peak kind of right on the top was that right third of the frame. So I'm gonna get a shot of that. I may try and do a um, long exposure, put the Indy Grad on there and see if I can do a little bit of movement in the clouds to see how that works. There's a nice breeze and those clouds are moving pretty well today. F8, 30 seconds, manually focused, five second delay. I'm excited. This spot is not exactly 
where we were last time. We were about uh, maybe 50 feet farther back the trail, but it's a little more open here. So I think I might start with this first and then see how this works out. And if it's not what I like, we can head back to the spot, but I think I think I like this one better, to be honest with you. It's really hazy right now. So everything's kind of soft. I don't know if I'll get much texture or sharpness out of it, but maybe that's a good thing. Looks cool. It's just very soft. It's like my glasses have fogged up. That's what the scene looks like here. I'll give you, I'll show you on this camera. So I like the way the sandstone kind of starts here and works its way back. There's this little uh, piece sticking out here. I mean, see that right there. Kind of pointing towards that. Not much of a leading line, but it does kind of dry your eye in a little bit. So. I don't know. Maybe the haze works. Maybe I have to uh, clean up in, in Lightroom. But either way, I'm here. I've got the 200, so. And actually, I'm treating it 70 right now, not even 200. So. That sun's just dipped behind a cloud just so they got my exposure bracket set. So now everything's clouded. There's no color yet. It's all just kind of hazy and gray. So we're waiting a little bit longer. We've got some more clouds coming in, which is good. If, uh, if we get a nice sunrise or sunset, sorry, that should be good. And I'm gonna race right now with that cloud and the sun. There's gonna be a tiny sliver when that sun finally breaks that cloud. Uh, and I hope it just gives me a little bit of a little bit of pop of color. It's all I need. Uh, sun's out, but it might be a little bit too late now. It's kind of gone so low that it's behind this this ridge this ridge here, so nothing's hitting the sandstone at all. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I'll put the photo up at the very end so you see what I got. Again, it's a three exposure bracket. That, that one cloud that came through just kind of messed up the sun for me. But we'll see what happens with it, if there's any color. Um, I'm going to get the camera turned off and put away because uh, that battery is about to die. It's blinking at me. So uh, thank you for watching. If you're new, you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribing would be would be appreciated and uh, I will not be making a video next week as I'll be in Minnesota and I'm not going shooting in Minnesota, not during a polar vortex. Uh, I'll pass, um, but perhaps I'll see you in a couple of weeks when I'm back in Colorado. Uh, thanks, stay safe. Uh, hope you guys are out of lockdown soon, uh, wherever you are around the world. Um, and uh, you can get out and, and uh, do some more photography. Uh, have a good one, bye. Thank you.